hi there and welcome back to It's Only Paper. Today we're going to be talking about fabric, different ways to use fabric in your journals or also on your scrapbook pages. It would work exactly the same. I'm going to be creating a page in my journal using some fabric but I also want to show you a few examples of how I've used fabric in some of my other journals. So we're going to go through that first and then come back and do the journal process. So hopefully there'll be lots and lots of ideas for you. Now, in my kits, I quite often include a little bit of fabric and I always get asked by different people each month, how do I use the fabric in my kits? So hopefully this will give you some inspiration. Even if you don't get the kits, everyone's got bits of fabric lying around. Um, it could be old clothing. I've used my kids' old school shirts before. Aid went to throw away a shirt the other day. Beautiful um, gingham, blue and white. And I was like, yep, I'll have that. So so we've all got bits of fabric that we can use so you can find free free fabric as well so my first way and my favorite way there'll be a few other um, examples of doing this is just to include a little bit of fabric and staple it to the side of a page and you've got a little bit of a fabric tab I love that when you finish a journal and you've got loads and loads of bits and pieces sticking out over the sides obviously if you've got things on the bottom then and it's on a shelf it doesn't obviously sit so well but having them on the sides and on the top is so so cool I just love texture and layers and that's exactly what fabric does for me I've also got some tulle a little bit of netting here also from one of my kits it's really delicate I love that not in your face but you've got that lovely delicate piece of netting underneath so we've got paper there's more patterned paper there's a little bit of the netting the tool and a little bit of paper bag there as well and then the photos so you've got a lovely lot of layers there and it just adds a really nice texture to a page I think having the netting it's almost a bit dreamy isn't it I like that a lot now my next one is to use a little bit of scrap fabric and stamp on it it's exactly what i've done here it's a tiny little square which i've literally just stamped on and that's it but again it's just that texture that it adds i like to have let me just take that off we don't need that anymore i like to have a journal and you flip through and it's one that you want to like open up and pull things out and touch and I just love all that we've got some pom-pom trimming underneath to me that's what makes a journal really really attractive it's all the bits and pieces so um got loads and loads of bits here but I do love texture and that to me um just makes me I was gonna say smile that's exactly what it says on there. that's quite funny I've got quite a bit of texture on this page here a bit of fabric I've got more another staple tab here which I love I love that color that it adds I've also got a little tag here I still haven't finished that I'm really bad at doing that just a random bit of fabric stuck on and a tiny skinny bit of fabric here that I've tied and that's stuck underneath as well which I really like another little tab here this one is just a tiny little piece folded over and stapled in place and then we've got another little tab top here and another random piece of fabric just stuck in with a couple of bits of paper stuck on top. And I like it when you've got the fabric like this together and it kind of like really brings the page together. Oh, there's another little tab top here as well. Oh, this was another one I wanted to show you. I've also here attached some lacy fabric to the side of a flip out piece as you can see um, this is obviously a piece of lace but if you had fabric again you could just trim off a thinner piece there I love stapling it because you know it's not going anywhere it's such a secure way to add fabric and doesn't that add a lovely decorative edge going on to stapling um, I get asked a lot about how to add pom-pom trim and that's exactly how I do it just add staples and if you've got coloured staples even better um, this one I'm only halfway through filling and you can see all the different layers and all the bits hanging out it just looks so cool doesn't it I really really do love that another example here I've got a big chunky tag which I've actually stuck down as an extra little page and I've got a big chunky piece of fabric here 
as you can see and again it just hangs out over the top I love that but I frayed off the edges just to make it look even more cool I really really love that look this one here I have cut out some of the fabric there some of the design to stick in and use as embellishments which I think looks really really fun as well and now we are going to move on to our next page so I'm working in my Disney journal and I've got a little strip here of photos that I've taken we were watching Louis on whoops Louis on the river adventure ride we were having lunch I took a photo in the splash zone and got absolutely drenched. We'd been sat there for about 45 minutes. Ada had been sort of stood in the area and that, taking photos, and then we were waiting for Louis. Not once did he get wet. The minute Louis was on, there they are. Oh, sorry. There they are in the front row. He got drenched. It's quite funny. So I want to create, I want to pop our um, park tickets in, our cards, and I want to create a little pocket. So I'm going to create a pocket here with my fabric. And then I'm also going to do something fun on this side here. So shall I do the pocket first? I think I will. This is a piece of fabric from um, the July kit of mine. Isn't it cute? It's just so adorable. You could obviously just stick it straight in there. I want to make sure it's super, super sturdy. So let's grab a piece of... Um, Fab, um, card stock I think if you're happy to use um, let's make it slightly smaller if you're happy to use glue that's fine you do that and I'm going to cut this to size as well I will be keeping all my scraps because you know how much I love scraps and then I'm just going to staple this in place let's pop it over this way and this just makes it a little bit more secure because I'm holding park tickets I don't want to run the risk of losing them of them falling out the bottom and I know that this is a lot safer than using glue and it's instant as well I don't have to worry about anything drying you know what I should have done I should have stapled it the other way silly me never mind it adds to the texture so here I've got the lovely side inside and then the not as pretty side but that's fine like I said it'll add to the texture won't it now I've got a really secure pocket and I've got a decorative edge inside which I love and I'm just going to add some double-sided sticky tape um, where the staples are so that I've got a place to be able to easily stick them on my page and I know that this pocket is not going anywhere it's going to be so secure let's pop that there I like that and then we've got our pocket there look how cool that looks I'm really pleased and actually I've got a double pocket I've just realized let's make sure that's nice and in. I've got a pocket there and I've got a pocket at the back as well let me just show you so you can see there and there I've got two pockets that is brilliant I'm really really chuffed with that I'm now going to go on to this side and I want to create another little pocket here this is one of the little bags from my kits I've used it for something that I quite often just grab little bits for um, texture so I am going to cut that off with a border punch. Let's go with this one. I ordered a new one off eBay the other day. Do you know, because I'm always going on, oh, that's not cutting very well. I'm always going on about these border punches. Keep an eye out on eBay for people selling them. I've paid um, £5.97 with postage. So I will let you know when it comes. I'm excited. This isn't actually doing so well, is it? I think it's because it's two layer. Usually if it's just one, it would be fine. And it is quite an old punch now as well. There we go. Let's just tidy that up. It's um, that really hot spell this week. 
and um, despite it being really warm I still had a, the need for a real creative fix so I really love this paper here and I didn't want to lose it so I'm thinking about popping that on there yeah I didn't want to cover it all up which is what I was meaning so let's pop this on here for my little bag and then I've got another pocket I don't even know if I need another pocket at the moment but I love a pocket I'm not going to put it completely down because I love the yellow I really like that actually seeing the pink and then the yellow I really like that um, I think I need a little bit more at the back there just to help it sit flat like that but yeah this was it was such a fun story to t um, um, it was such a fun thing when we were waiting for Louie and it was such a nice lunch spot as well we had so much fun there cool I'm pleased with that now the other thing I wanted to do is use this film strip paper I'm offering this as a free download right now it's in my free Facebook group I'll leave a link down below if you want to join and grab this and it's also available for all my patreons as well um, it's film strip paper it's so cool and you can just download and print off yourself so let's trim this also if you got my June kit it's also in there um, there's two sheets of it now I have got three photos that I want to cut to size and these scissors aren't the best I want to stick them in there just trim that down slightly and we are going to make them fit perfect or just slightly more I think and to really really make the photos stick what I'm going to do is cut this one from here and layer it up on here so it looks like it's the same piece but obviously then I've got the full strip so I've got space for all three of my photos let's do it this way and nobody would know except for you and I slightly there that looks cool doesn't it and we are going to pop the photos in I'll pop them in order so we've got lunch we've got watching Louie I'm gonna need to trim this one down so all you need to do to make your photos fit is just to trim them down Perfect, and the last one of aid being soaked. This is what holidays are all about, isn't that? There we go. Doesn't that look cool? And then I've got a little bit of space. I don't know. Do you know? I'm not actually going to keep that. I was going to use that for a little bit of wording, but I'm not going to. I'm going to pop that on there. This is so much fun. And then I've got space for a little card to pull out to tell the story. Because again, I love that sunshine paper and I don't want to completely cover it up. And I think it goes really well with the lemons as well. I think it looks really, really fun. Let's pop this in place. I fancy it at an angle. There, doesn't that look cool? I love that so much. Now I have been neglecting my weekly journaling in case you've been wondering, and I do love my weekly journal. When I was looking through then for examples of how I've been using fabric, it made me realize I haven't actually been doing that much. I'm thinking that would be cool there for the journaling spot. Let's do that. So um, I need to go back to it. I haven't done any since June. So it's not that I don't want to or not that I've forgotten. I've just been, I always say I'm gonna use 
some of these actually. I always say with my journaling that I like having lots of journals on the go because it then takes my, it, it, I choose then what to journal depending on what mood I'm in. So I never journal just because I have to. It's because of what I fancy doing. These are cool. These arrows are from the um, June kit. No, the July, um, the August kit, sorry. Have a couple of trees just because. I think that goes re really well with the green, actually. I like that. Um, add a little bit of foam tape on that one to give it a little bit of height so yeah I just always fan I just always journal what takes my fancy never because I have to now all that's left is to create a little bit of a pulley out thing for my journaling so I've got our passes here and I've got a little glassine bag I was just going to pop the passes in here but if they were to fall out at least they're in here it feels a little bit safer so I'm just thinking, oh, it doesn't look so pretty like that though, does it? Hmm, I think they'll be all right like that. I'm going to leave them like that. I'll use the glassine bag another time. Um, and I've also got a postcard from the kit as well. And I was thinking about cutting it down so it fits and then adding the journaling. I might actually tear it. You know how much I love a torn edge. I think that, because it reminded me of Jurassic Park, you know, with it being the island. Does that fit? Yes, I quite like that. And then I can journal on there and then I can do some kind of title there. I think this is coming together very nicely. I'm thinking that I'm going to add the word lunch on there as that's what that was. I would have done blue if I'd have had blue but I don't. So let's just hope I've got all the letters because I haven't even checked but um, I wanted a little bit of a title. I think this will go really well. And I'm going to continue the title down here with I was going to do lunch break but I'm going to run out of space so we'll have rest instead I like these thickers I have no idea where they're from or how old they even are have I got an S I have so we call it instead of a lunch break a lunch rest it really was such a nice little um, lunch break it was 45 minutes if you wanted to queue for your food or you could mobile order place your order Go and sit out by these tables so we were sat in the shade with a little buzzer waiting for our food that got brought out to us and we were right by the splash zone of the Jurassic Park ride so we weren't getting wet but we were watching it was just so full of people and all these kids just getting splashed and laughing it was so much fun and we were there for ages and then Louis ended up coming and joining us it was and it was really good food as well so um, there we go lunch rest I'm pleased Actually, I want, no, I'm not going to fiddle around with it. I am, though, going to add my journaling. Nearly finished. I've got my journaling of the story on the back there. I am going to just add a couple of things. I have got, oh, do you know, I hate that. I have something and put it down. Oh, here it is. Um, I've got a little cloud. And the reason that I'm adding this little cloud, which is also from the August kit, let's pop that up there is because the colors then tie in it's almost the same i was also going to want this because this was our quiet time so i was going to add this to it as well it was our little bit of a time out from the park we were really tired and it was really nice just to sit back take our shoes off there i think i'm going to use double-sided sticky tape for this one or should mm, no i'm going to leave that because i like that edge on there just was like the perfect park escape so I don't think a lot of people realize that you could sit out there so the tables were empty and it was just the people then in the splash zone so yeah well that's actually stuck on there really well I'm really glad that I did um, staple this to the card though because this feels so secure I will keep an eye on that because I really really don't want to um, lose those is there anything else um 
Do I want the arrows on there as well? I might actually. Let's take the arrows off. We've got a right mishmash of kits actually. I've got the June, July and my August kit. I'll leave a link down to the kits. Um, let's pop that on there. And I do believe I'm done. This was a quick page today, wasn't it? There. Which is ideal because I fancy the quick craft fix. But it's really, really warm. So, yeah, I'm happy with this. That's it. I still, actually, do I need anything green up there? I don't know. I'm just going to have a little rummage and see if I can find anything. Tell you what I have got. I've been talking and thinking about having a dinosaur kit. So I've been buying myself some samples. That is a paper kit, uh, clip. Isn't that cute? So, look at that. That is adorable. There we go. I am super chuffed with this page. Really, really pleased. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's inspired you to use like fabric scraps on your page and to keep things, things like old clothing. I've used pockets before from the back of denim, like jeans. Um, so many things can be used on your pages. Let me know if you love fabric too and if you like adding it to your journals. I would love to hear. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed today and I will see you in the next video on Monday. Bye.